Welcome to the Pathy demonstration of IoT energy meter by using Blink application controlling system. So in this project we interface this uh, energy meter to the microcontroller and this controller will continuously read the load in a KWH and also it will calculate the bill details and these two details will be sent to the Blink application through this ESP8266 module as well as so when the user want to control the device by seeing the bill and readings when you want to control the devices at the home so by just pressing this button on and off you can control this relay so that the home devices will be controlled directly on and, on and off so this can be accessed from anywhere in the world so means just we need to install the blink application and just log into the blink application from the given credentials so and also we need to provide the hotspot along with data at this section so by using the hotspot and data from this ESP8266 the system will send the billing details along with load details and also it will read the user commands like to, uh, to control these devices uh, by using this uh, relay so that will be received by this uh, ESP8266 module so we have interfaced the energy meter to the PIC 16F73 microcontroller by using this PC817 optocoupler so which is the main optically isolated device between the energy meter as well as our microcontrollers the main purpose of this one is so if is there any high current or short circuit happen in this energy meter in order to protect our microcontroller we are uh, place the optically isolated uh, coupler between these two that is a PC817 interface to the A4 pin and based on the pulses from this energy meter we are going to calculate the KWHs kilowatt hour readings and that will be sent to the blink application through this ESP8266 module which was interfaced at C6 and C7 pins and the so called uh, uh, the status like a uh, KWH reading and the build details will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen which was interfaced at pin number B22 pin number B7 so whenever the user want to control the uh, current inside the home so by using isolating the supply to the loads by using this electromagnetic relay which is interfaced at pin number B0 so the whole system getting power supply from this regulated power supply board so here we can observe that so we are putting 230 volts AC inputs parallelly to this regulated power supply board and to the energy meter so the energy meter output will be given to the load through this relay so it has a four stages one is a transformer two step down the 12 volts ac to 12 volts ac and 12 volts ac to 12 volts dc pulsating dc by using the rectifier and after that by using the capacitor for the filtration purpose we will get the pure dc of 12 volts and then regulator will get the 5 volts dc output so here the stages four stages transformation and the filter uh, rectification and filtration and regulation so that 5 volts is the main power source input to the whole components in our project so before switching on the kit we need to set the hotspot settings so go to hotspot settings of your, uh, your phone and change the hotspot name to project 5389 and password should be 12345689 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz so all are small letters without any space so that is very important and after that you can on the hotspot along with data so after that just log into the blink application so now we can see the device is offline now so it's showing the red mark okay and now after on the hotspots and data so now i'm going to switch on the power supply to the motherboard so welcome message will be displayed on the lcd screen after that so if uh, we need to hold this when the device is connected here you can see that there is no red icon on your blink application now restart the device otherwise you will go to the junk data so it has to show 00 when the device is off state now just send the command to on the device now the device is on so let us wait for some time better to use 200 watts bulb so that the units will be increased in faster manner so now we place a 100 watts bulb so it will take maximum 10 to 15 seconds to get the pulse to the microcontroller once the pulse was received so it will calculate the kilowatt hour reading so the kilowatt hour readings calculation will be done so based on the formulation like so if uh, this particular led blinks 3200 times then it will consider as a 1 kilowatt hour so one blink is equal to 1 uh, by 3200 
kilowatt hour so like that we are going to calculate the kwh readings as well as the billing is going to be the considering by the by the considering of 1 uh, kilowatt hour equal to 2 rupees 40 paisa right so we got the first reading here the same will be sent to the blink app So, so in this manner we can control this devices from anywhere in the world and also we can get the reading status from the blink application.